Hello, I am Dr. Sagar Lad. I am working as a senior pediatric intensive care specialist at Sayadri Gopal Hospital. And the topic of today's discussion is the pink eye. What we have seen in the children. In medical terminology, it is called as a conjunctivitis. What we have seen in the last one month, there are lots of children which are coming to the OPD with red eyes. Is it something different or is it very dangerous? Definitely not. It is called as a conjunctivitis and which is commonly caused by the viruses. Nowadays, there is a lots of rain, lots of weather is dampened, lots of water clogging in the, in the roads and such environment produces lots of viruses in the community and these viruses cause the infection in the eyes, causing a conjunctivitis. This infection can be caused by the bacteria, viruses and you have also seen that Allergic children or the children who has got allergic tendency getting much more of this eyes infection. It has been documented by the National Institute of Virology Pune. This infection is mainly caused by the enterovirus and adenovirus. It is not some, something life threatening but we need to take care if such children presented to the pediatrician. What symptom they have or what sign they show, especially they get red eyes, burning of the eyes, discharge red color or um, white color which is coming through the eyes and lots of itching. The children start rubbing their eyes with um, and sometimes the children can get a fever also. These are the preliminary symptoms that the children if start developing is better not to ignore immediately take a medical consultation. Now what sort of a treatment do we offer? Now this is a generally a self-limiting disease as such as enterovirus and adenovirus there is no treatment available but when we get some discharge which is especially yellow sometimes they get a bacterial infection and in that case we need to give some eye drops. Three modality of a treatment are available. One thing you need to clean the eyes with a cold water three to four times a day. Secondly you put eye drops which is called as a lubricating drop that will prevent the dryness in the eyes. And the third thing we give some antibacterial agent or some medication to reduce the redness of the eyes. We also have seen some children getting a lots of bleeding in the white part of eye also because of such infection. That is a severe form of this conjunctivitis. Generally the disease lasts for 7 to 8 days and after that the child absolutely become normal. So this is about the disease but how we can prevent it? This disease is very contagious. So we can prevent this, if the child is sick, don't send the child to the school. So if you send the child to the school, there is a cross infection. Second thing is that we need to tell to the school people or school teacher, don't take this child in the school or tell the parent that child should not come to the school for a one week. Second thing is that if there is a too much of the infection in the community, the transfer rate is very high. So all, all the school will can become infected with this eyes. But mind well, it is not very dreadful disease like a COVID, so don't get scared. The other thing is that there is a lot of uh, uh, scarcity in the community that this is something different of a pink eye. Usually the disease gets settled down in 8 to 10 days. The summary of this topic is that this disease is not very dangerous. It is highly communicable disease. If we detect it early, treat it early, the chances of complication and spread up of disease can be prevented. The time interval is usually a 10 days. After 10 days, the child is absolutely normal. So don't get frightened with lots of news and lots of information what you are getting. This is all about the information about this conjunctivitis. If you have got any query, you can contact the number given below or even you can email us. Our team will help you about further information. Thank you.